Alright guys, this is uh, Photoshop Flare, and I decided to do some tutorials on how I repaint my aircraft for Flight Simulator X and Flight Simulator 2004. This has uh, become a useful skill for me because I uh, work with numerous virtual airlines for uh, repainting. and <coughs> can make a pretty good uh, business out of this. So I'm going to show you some quick tips on how I do this now. Uh, this is going to be part one where I'm just showing you what, how the repaint kit works, what does what, what's your most useful tools, and uh, creating a simple design. So first of all, I'm going to open up uh, my repaint kits folder. And I'll go open the Project Open Sky, and we'll do the triple uh, seven three hundred version two. Oops. Okay. So basically, this tells you what each thing is in here. Um, this obviously, eh, this has nothing to do with repainting. All that will do is go in your FSX or FS2004 effects folder. But, uh, don't do anything with this yet. We're going to go directly to the fuselage. Nothing with these two yet, but we're going to open up the public paint kit. This is what actually lets you paint your plane. Alright. So, um, here, uh, we'll zoom in a little. Start up here. Uh, this is your outline. You can simply view it or unview it. I don't even know if that's the correct word to use, but we'll use it for today. Um, so simply this tells you what you're going to have to do to make this repaint kit in order to work. It gives you the name, copyright, who, who made it, and the uh, notice. Um, now these, these pink arrows right here, these are anchor points. I, I don't like them. I mean, it helps you place, but it it makes a mess out of it so I always uh actually let me I let me delete that folder let me just save this now so I never have to deal with that again alright oops okay alright so you had a basic basically a huge white triple seven that doesn't even have anything on it yet other than marks scuff marks uh, dirt, grime, rivets, windows, doors, everything else. Alright, so pretty much each set of these folders I can drop down and uh, each one has a different type of layer on it. So uh, as you can see now this added a door so let me just highlight around it. You, see, you can see a door comes up and on. Actually a cargo holder. Alright, each one of these are cargoes. So uh, I won't mess with this because I'm going to be making the left side of the plane first. So uh, we'll move down to the doors. Doors you can obviously guess correctly that that just does that. Gets rid of the doors. You can uh, take away certain effects. Um, move down to the windows. Um, pretty much no difference in between the right or the left other than some repaint kits for the right they'll have different designs just to make it look not so repetitive which is a good thing I guess as you can see down here we'll have the left fairing down there left detail these are all just PNG images placed on here that um, you don't really have to mess with at all unless you want to hide them then you just open it and check it and you're good detail now this is all the uh, nice sh these are all the shadowing effects here tail you guess that works tail won't go any far that's that's pretty much the layers noob down and everything but now all right where you're gonna want to start your repainting for the left fuselage uh, it's right here just I will usually drop down this folder and I usually just click this which creates the new layer and I'll rename it to something called Fuselage Base. Alright. And uh, that's nothing more than just the colors I'm going to choose. So um, I'll just choose two random colors. We'll go, uh, heck, we'll go blue, blue and, um, I don't know, we'll go orange. Orange and blue always look good mixed. There we go. Um, I'll draw a huge rectangle. That makes my entire plane blue. And if I unclick the outline, 
as you can see everything's blue. What the outline in the end is going to do is when you group everything together, you'll be able to just use your magic wand tool and delete this so you just have your plain fuselage. Okay, so now the fuselage base is just all blue. Okay, well, let's say I don't like an all blue base. So let's uh, mix it up a little. We'll go to right click and we'll go to blending options. Um, you know what? I feel like a gradient overlay would be wonderful for a plane like this. Uh, it's not the colors I chose, so we're going to click up on gradient and we'll select this effect I have here. Now, I don't like the scene, the scheme of this. I don't like the pattern. So I am going to change my angle to zero. As then you can see now, it mixes off good with the tail, but it has too much of that ugly orangish bluish mixture. So I want to make it more of a hard fade. So I'm going to drag this down to about, eh, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I think I'll go, I think I'll go 30, 25 percent. 25 percent has me. And I think I'm going to move this back a little to about here. And you know what? Now I think about it, that orange isn't looking too good. So we're going to go in the gradient again. We're going to reselect that. So just double click your orange right there. And we'll go white. Maybe the white will have a better effect. And the white has a better effect for me. I like the white a lot more. Okay. So from here now, you have your default base, what it's going to look like. So um, now the real question is, how do I make it look nicer? Because, I mean, you're not going to want to just fly this around. So what I always do is I, um, I will minimize this for a second now. I, uh, I'm going to go into my airline logos here. Um, you know, let's say I... Um, I think I want my plane to be Wi-Fi equipped. This is my nice Wi-Fi logo I got. And I want to put it on this plane. Right here. But I do not want it that blue. So I can go to blending options and go to color overlay, which is amazing. And I want it white to match my color scheme. Now that image is way too big. Way too big. So I want to make this smaller. So I'm just going to drag to about a decent size. There. That looks good. We'll apply that. And we're going to put it right there. Right, right there. I like that. Okay now. Um, it's still pretty dry, this plane. There's no fundamentals. It doesn't look anything like an airline yet. This is I want to make my fictional airline look something like what a real airline would look like. So, I want to, per se, I want to make mine a, uh, have a tail number. So, I'm going to go way back here to the end of the plane. Um, I want to choose my text tool. Arial is the font they use. I need to make my text black, though. And let's see, I want my tail number to say, um... Let's see, uh, um, I want it to say N, um, 777MB. MB, yes, N777MB. Alright. So usually now tail numbers go up to about a little past the third window, but not past the fourth window. Does not go to the quite yet to the fourth window. All right. So let me just zoom out here now. And as you can see now, we have a nice little livery going. You have your tail number, and you have your Wi-Fi logo. Next thing I, one thing I do recommend now, always name your layers. This will help you very much when you come back and you don't know what you're ho flipping horizontal or doing anything to. So we'll go Wi-Fi logo. Let me just deselect this now. 
Okay. Um, it still doesn't look like an airline quite yet. So, I am going to change this November 777 Muni Bravo now. I'm going to add another logo to it. So let me go to my flag 